So we are on week two of the Great Reverse Grip Experiment, and today we're going to be exploring the uses of Reverse Grip as a parrying weapon. There is a lot of stuff in the comments section of all of my videos on Reverse Grip. Uh, honestly, it ranges from Reverse Grip as a hyper-aggressive uh, style that is only used for offense to it's a hyper-defensive style only used for defense. It's, it's really jumbled. It's all over the place. Everybody, it's, it's, you know, it's everything to everyone. So today, one of the things that we get told a lot is that it is only used for defense, usually in the offhand with a forward grip of the front hand. I'm not gonna do both of those today. I am just gonna work on parrying with this and see how it feels. And when we test our stuff, I'm not gonna test it unarmored against an opponent who is allowing me to do these techniques because I'm sure I can make it work. Matt, slowly attack my targets. I can make this work, ready? Go somewhere else. That was terrible to work. I can make it work. I can make all these things work because Matt's working with me. Now, we're going to gear up, we're going to put on masks, and we're going to see if this works. Okay. So, this is just me pairing. Are you going to do offhand or with me? Uh, main hand first. Okay. So, what's going to happen now is uh, we're going to do a fencing drill called the Iron Triangle. When it's done, normally, I'll just show you with this. Uh, what happens is Matt attacks and I parry. Now, normally I attack him back, but I'm just going to parry stage, so just go ahead. I don't know where these are coming, I just gotta respond to them. Go ahead and actually go past it. Whoops. Go ahead. I don't know where these are coming, but I have a very high degree of success until there. Alright, so a couple more, I just wanna get a baseline. Okay. We got footwork, how about that? Yeah, yeah. sorry, I was doing okay. some pivoting, I think yeah, I was okay. throwing it off. Not bad. I'm catching, honestly, I don't know where he's going to go, he's just doing them. I'm catching somewhere around 85 to 90% of those, majority. which is pretty good. Big majority, yeah. Pretty good. Um, so normally this is done with sabers, and normally the way it would be done, we're also unequal weapons, I'm honest. Okay. But yeah, so long. now, let's see how that works this way. Same thing, just try a different direction. Let's go slow first. Okay. Right? What I'm noticing is that it's hitting my arm anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Go ahead. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ow! See, so, I can just see exactly where your hand is going to be. It, well, it's also hitting my wrist every time. If yeah, I'm, honest. I'm not um, trying to do it too hard. I'm, I am trying to go fast. Go, so. Okay, actually, speed up. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. This is doing nothing. I honestly. You want I, to know why I think it's not? I right? honestly thought this was gonna work better than this. I'm, I'm honestly shocked. Hold your hand out. Go without a sword. Even. Just stick your, stick your hand out. Uh, bend it down. Like that. Easy, right? Easy. Now try and bend your thumb back to your face. It doesn't work. It's hard. There's no structure here. I. Okay. The wrist helps you so much when, like this. When, when we make these videos. I go in with a thing that we're going to test, but I, we haven't done it yet. And, and this wasn't what I was testing today. I was here to test specifically... Oh, if, if, well, hold on. I, I was specifically only wanted to test if I could get here fast enough and it was effective. What I'm finding out is that I can get there fast enough, but it doesn't block the sword. So this is a, this is a, this is a real experiment, guys. I'm really learning things. Yeah, alright, let me try this again. I'm going to try, I'm gonna try harder. Okay. Ow, that's sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Ready? Nope, nope. I want a gauntlet. Okay, sorry. No, it's fine. I'm having to switch. I'm not doing it that hard. It's just finger hits, we, like we said before. They do not feel very good. So, because I'm being hit so much, um, I'm switching to a gauntlet because my hand hurts. Uh, Actually, I think a gauntlet might be better parrying than... No, this, this, the, uh, honestly, yeah. So, I'm switching to this gauntlet. Which is gonna make it so my hand hurts less because it's gonna be. I won't worry so much about hitting yeah, it. Yeah, and now Matt's gonna go for real. Yeah. Let's go, Chase. This, 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 this. <laughs> Now, really, I mean, you are trying, right? Like, seriously. Yeah, okay, okay. Go just, fast, just, to yeah. Show, just to show that this isn't just because he has a long sword and I have a short sword. Go. That was a good one, right? So, hold on. Is that? Ready? Go. A lot harder. One. A lot 
harder. But distance is the problem. I'm gonna fight back this time. Okay. I'm gonna fight back this time. Should Ready? I get the gloves? Yeah, get gloves. Yeah, I'm gonna get Sorry, I'm gonna get my clamps. That's gonna get his So, in that one, um, hard. I'm, I'm trying hard on both of these. On this one, it doesn't matter if I make the block. It just rips it out of my hand and hits me. Oh, that was another thing I was going to say when you said just a second. Um, so, when you, I mean, there's something weird that happens. So if I'm doing this and something torques my sword backwards, yeah. it, watch, watch. there is something about this. Your fingers just open up. They just open up. It's the way it's hands are supposed to work. So like, this is allowing me to, um, the other thing this does is like, I have to parry at the last minute here, right? All of this force is at the peak of where it's going right here. And it goes into here. I can keep it in front of my body. And that gives me a lot more room to dissipate that energy. I'm not reaching for a parry, but I've got enough distance here. So now, I'm gonna try to fight back, ready? Okay. Go. Uh-oh. Did you break my sword somehow? Yes. So Matt's hitting hard. I didn't think I was hitting that hard. No, I'm just teasing. I've never had these break before. It probably shouldn't have broken. It shouldn't have broken. <laughs> That's sad. Callings. The first sword, the first one of these that I've ever broken. That's one of my new ones too, buddy. <laughs> Did you think I was going to get No, one? you're fine. Sometimes it just happens. You know, I've got ten of these. Every once in a while there's going to be a defect, but... Um, okay, well... Him parrying that way broke the sword. That's how good it is. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was able to successfully parry. It's kind of a bummer. It My is, stuff isn't is breaking. It? This is the second week in a row that I've had something break. Sorry, sword. No, it's fine. Um, so yeah, this very effective in forward grip. Mm -hmm. uh, in reverse grip, you can't respond. I can't, I'm just getting my butt down. Well, some, actually, let me get that saber. Hold on. Uh, yeah, get the synthetic saber. So we're gonna switch to two uh, single grip weapons now and see how it goes. So. But you saw, this is kind of... People, I will try people, not to break this think, one. People who think that these videos are scripted, who think that I'm like going into this with like, oh, I know what I'm gonna say. Twice now I've had the... Okay, so anyway. Um, here we go again. So baseline, forward grip, forward grip. Let's see how this works. Fence. You did get me there. I thought I got your hand at one point before that. You might have, okay. but I might not have felt it through this glove. Fence. Okay, you got me. Okay. Ready? Fence. I tried to make something silly. It's okay. Yeah, ready? Fence. I started to lose the yeah, sword. Yeah, I started to lose the sword. Glove. Ready? Fence. I got you. You did, here. Yeah. I might have got your head a little bit. You got the back of my head. Yeah. Ready? Fence. Oh, yeah. Fence. Good response. That one. Good yeah. response. So, it, it, I am at a slight disadvantage with a longer sword. Um, I don't have another one of these today, so I can't yeah. do doubles. But, uh, I wouldn't even say it's a slight disadvantage. I was getting, I was giving it. You had, um, that's, that's, I think that might be a little more nimble than this. It is. I was able to get some stuff on there. A couple more, I want to get a baseline, good baseline. Thanks. Uh, no, no. Fence. You got your arm. Yeah, you did get his hand on the way in. Got yeah, mine too. Fence. Got you. Ready? Fence. Ah, the distance is a problem. Yeah. The distance is a But! I'm able you to were formidable. I'm able to defend myself fairly well. You were a challenge. We have a baseline. It's not favorable towards me. One thing I would point out is you could respond instantly yeah. in a variety of ways. Now, with that said is the baseline, right? We're not looking to see if reverse grip, if reverse grip isn't like, it has to be as good as that. Okay, now remember everything people say, you have to be really fast somehow. Because um, I know so normally you go intentionally slow. So the times I got hit actually, on this, the times I got hit wasn't when I was defending. It was when I was attacking. Yeah. I was able to defend almost everything he did. Right. If I feel like he's not in distance with a shorter weapon, I'll a little attack into an attack. Yeah. You don't want to do it a lot, but sometimes you feel like you can. All right. Let's try this out. Fence. Ah! 
I'm gonna switch to gauntlets. Okay. On my other hand. Sorry, you're not just yeah. aim for your torso. Either. No, it's fine. <laughs> So I can tell you right away my first is, well, I won't tell you. I'll tell you after. Yeah, ready? Thanks. Ah! Did I get you? Maybe. I think I got, I think I got the guard. Look at my face. Yeah. Are ready? Yeah. The first one I blocked, the second one rolled over onto my wrist and I couldn't block it. Thanks. Hey, be aggressive. Try that. No, this is, we're testing that it's a defensive one. Oh, right. We're doing yeah. that. By that. being defensive. The blade alignment is so hard because my my hand is so in this situation. If he comes in from that side, my sword is in front of my hand. But in this situation, my hand is in front of my sword. So even if I come up to here, I have to be all the way out here. All right, ready? Fence. Yeah, I, I missed that. So you responded, but it was so little of a threat that I didn't even feel like I needed to move. Yeah, all right. Because you were. Just so far, anyway. Thanks. I think I got your hand. <laughs> yeah. Did I get something? No. They pulled it out of my hand. I don't think they so. They pulled the sword out of my hand. <laughs> Sorry, that won't yeah, be too low. Thanks. That time you kind of got a little bit stabbed. I didn't. Stabbed. Yeah. I didn't, because I saw what happened. Come back here. Okay. It did this. It slipped off. You can't see what happened and hit and it slipped. A slip. sharp point might have come. Maybe, maybe. Know. All right, ready? Either way, that's about all you can do. Thanks. I missed. It's too I long. Knew, I knew there was only one thing you could do. <laughs> yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. But another thing is I had to come up this high. Mm -hmm. If I had a knife and I was doing this, I could come right in. I, I don't know. And if I had this, I would have stabbed him. Right. All right, ready? Hand. Hand. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Um, I don't really want to do this. I didn't bring it up here today. What? I'm going to try this. I'm not parrying with this. This is Good. specifically for offense. Okay. Fence. You know, my hand. Fence. much better it's harder to deal with for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is so much easier. Yeah. I got him. Oh my god. It's not bad. This is so good. It's not bad. Did I get you? Did you get my hand? Okay. Yeah. I got him in the hand. Nah, maybe. Better. This is what? great. Better. Okay, going back. Ah, my hand. Got him. Yeah. Yeah, got him. So, and I'm, I'm noticing. My hand's getting tired. I almost dropped it, but so. I'm <laughs> noticing with this. I don't have as much that I can parry with this hand. I can't make this blocks. So here's the other thing. From my point of view, go into your reverse with me again. I know that if I do a cut on this side, he's gonna wanna parry it there. Yeah. There's only so many things you can do and I know that his hand is gonna follow some kind of predictable arc. So really, if I want to, I can just kinda yeah. adjust as I'm going. Yeah, my hand. So yeah. another thing that I'll, I'll tell you about this, in this situation, I have one weapon that is only for defense and one weapon that is only for attack. Are they both for both? Well, actually, sorry. This is can this can defend and attack. This can only defend. This can defend and attack, and this thing can defend. And when you saw me going against Matt, even though I primarily used this one for defense, I still scored a lot of hits mm -hmm. with that hand. I was able to double hit. I was able to block and hit. Mm -hmm. And look at the distance on the range. Cut anywhere. I can I can block just go anywhere. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Anywhere on that side, cover here. Anywhere on this side, cover here. 
Nick You did, but it's because it's a stick. I know. Yeah. Crossguard. If it had a crossguard. Yeah, had, this one's actually, the crossguard was actually doing a really good job. Yeah, it's surprising. So, what I'm taking away from this is, a lot of people are saying, it's like this, defense, offense. From what I'm seeing in this sparring match, this is almost useless for defense. I can, I can, it is. And if you do something, I'm sure someone's like, great. Like, huh? Go oh. back in a minute, but yeah. So, the, the thing I'm noticing, right, is that I was able to score some parries with this, but the, it was maybe a, maybe a 50% or lower success rate, because every time I parried, look how close my arm is. The, the, the right. maximum I can get, the, yeah. the rollover. So if he hits my arm, there's a good chance it's gonna roll over and hit me there. Um, if I'm coming to this side, my hand's so totally exposed. Lead with that. But now look at this. If he attacks me there, there's no chance of rollover. There's no chance of him hitting this arm. If he tries to go lower, I can move lower. If he tries to go for a leg, I can go down, right? This is easy. You know what, this, this does work, but I'll say that a low, low parry, watch the difference here. My hand does not like coming back up. So we just talked about this. To go backwards. But you know what my hand does like? That. Yeah. That's really easy. And that's, this is quick. So, um, so what, what, what I'm finding so far. What I was also going to say is put that one in your hand offhand in reverse. Whichever one, yeah. yeah. So I wasn't doing this, but if you parry um, and you don't have another one or whatever. Um, uh -huh. I mean, it's right yeah. there. And there's only so many things you can do. Basically, the only response you have is some sort of thrust. Maybe, maybe that, that does nothing. But it would be very weak because when well, you cut with is, your fingers. He, he let me do that. The actual idea of that, to go ahead and attack. Are you going to wait around for me to, are you going to wait around? No. If you attack me, it's. I'm going to retreat if I don't know what to do. Um, and if you're doing this, you lose. Yeah. Well, here, try this. Let me, let me try it with my, well, try. Let me, let me have the longer Take one. this in reverse grip. Let me have the longer one. You take the short ones. Okay. And I'm going to be in reverse grip with the long one. If okay. it's just the distance problem, it'll be solved here. If this is just a distance issue, we'll solve it right now. I predict that you might be able to get a few more hits. But we'll Probably because I have the range, but... But you're holding it in a way that... Negates that. ...loses range. So it'll be interesting. You can go ahead and do it in your main hand. Right? I'm going to... 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 You got my arm, didn't you? Yeah. Did I get you? No, I blocked it. Okay, ready? Fence. Hand. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be more aggressive. Ready? Yeah. Fence. That, that is wrist, but right. not in time to stop the cut. Right. You got my elbow, I was too exposed. Fence. No, I missed. Fence. Did I get you? Maybe the fingers? I'm not sure. It could have been you the You definitely voice. got my hand. Ready? Yeah. Fence. Yeah, good one. Like it was Ready? very weak. Fence. That's the best thing I can do is this upward cut. Yeah. To his hand. That's the best thing I've got. Hand, I got my hand. And if I know he's going to do that, now watch the I know his hand is going to come up. Watch the difference, oh, right? Fence. You're going to wipe the floor with me. Fence. Hand. Yep. I'm going to just go for that hand every time. Ready? Hand. So easy. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh, no way back down! Oh, yeah. I wouldn't have done much. Oh. oh. Okay, try again. Ah. Good. I'm really trying, guys. A little bit, yeah. A little bit? Okay. There wasn't anything on it, though. Fence. Now. So that was a powerful upward swing on mine. He totally negated all the power and cut into my hand. He shouldn't be able to do that. Nope. Right. Well, let's show him with an improper grip. Turn it around and see if I can blow through can your you hair. Can you blow through my hair? Let's out with this hair see if I can blow through it. That did it. Yeah, but I mean, I was using all my yeah. strength. I'm aiming for like the, the weak part. In direction my head. Okay. Oh, that's easy. So what we're seeing here is that I'm pairing with the fort 
the strong part of the blade. The way Matt was able to make my sword hit my head was he aimed for the weak part of the blade, yeah. which wouldn't have actually hit. If I didn't block that, he might have hit your arm. Maybe. Maybe. But if he did that, if he did do that, I'll get it back on. If he did do that, yep. I can use that momentum. That's why it's good to. Yeah. You get a lot more uh, tactile response through your finger than you do. Let's do some takeaways. So. Um, what are my takeaways from this? Uh, so I'm still trying to keep my own mind with this. Yeah. Um, like obviously I have my ideas. So and I and I want to point that out. I have my ideas of what is going to happen with this based on my experience. But as you just saw, I was surprised about four times in the course of this because I thought that I thought that reverse grip was going to be sturdier to block. My thing that I thought was going to happen. My thought going into this experiment was that I was going to be able to make the blocks, but I wasn't going to have enough range to, 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 to do anything with it. That I was going to be able to, I wasn't going to be able to move fast enough, and the blocks were going to be kind of awkward like this, like trying to block up here instead of down here. But what I found out was, I, um, it wasn't the fact that I couldn't get to the block that was the problem. I could get to the block fast enough. It was the fact that the block wasn't strong enough, not even close. With two hand and with one hand of weapons, the block was not even close to strong enough. And I know we don't have matched weapons, that's kind of what I brought today. I'm going to do this again with matched weapons. But that's not an unreasonable scenario, a longer sword against a shorter sword, that happens. Mm -hmm. um, so, both defensive and when it was in the offhand. So that's the other thing people say a lot, it's like one in offhand, one in forward hand. I found that the only thing, yes, having reverse grip in my offhand with one and four grip was better than just having one sword That's and four bad. grip. Well, I'm no. So, so what I'm trying to say is this. Having one sword, having two swords and one reverse grip was more effective than only having one sword. But it was so far less effective than having two swords and forward grip. Two short swords and a forward grip were actually a match for that. Mm -hmm. I was keeping up with you and I was actually doing pretty well. Yeah, because you can... I can parry you can lead with a defensive yeah. and immediately have a blow by. I had I had reach, I had distance, both of them were equally as dangerous. So when we talk, and this is my thing about uh, dual wielding, I think that it works best with short swords because I think that they're maneuverable enough and you're creating, you're able to create a, um, uh, sorry, two short swords of equal length. If you want to dual wield with equal length to weapons, right. rapier and dagger is very effective, but if we're talking about like two long swords, I find it far less effective because of the maneuverability. Those are so maneuverable. Um, but one in reverse grip, it just took away all my advantages. We're going to keep doing this. Um, I, and don't take me... Oops. Don't take me um, criticizing reverse grip as me being biased here. I, and I entered this and I gave it my best shot, but these are the results that I'm getting. Um, I, I don't think I have much more to add to this experiment uh, today. No, just... I would, I would say that the thing I, I can always kind of predict as a response there's people trying to justify it somehow and my I just my core tenet about this my core belief is if you are using a weapon unless something's preventing you from using it in the most useful way you should yeah. use it in the most useful if way I, if swords I... are long the blade is a threat you should want the threat in front of you you could I don't make know what else you could it. make the like, you know, be very argumentative and say, well, what if? It's always a well, what if? What if I have one sword out and he's approaching me and I have another sword that's on this side of my body? That's what I was just like, saying. Like, I pulled this out this way for one reason and this one I'm like, oh no. Then yeah, I could probably make it work for a minute until I can switch it. Mm -hmm. But so, yeah, it's, like it's always a what if. And I think that the what if situations are disingenuous because I'm not here and no one is here to be like, ah, yes, you as a fighter need to be ready for every single possible situation and thoroughly train every possible combination of moves. That's unrealistic, you're not gonna get anywhere. If you talk to any professional fighter, if you talk to any uh, fencing, Olympic fencing person, if you talk to anybody, they rep a certain number of moves so many times they can do them in their sleep and they rely on those moves that are, that are versatile over a wide variety of situations to get them through combat. And those are the people who are the most successful. So you were saying something about drawing? Yeah. I asked my fencing coach about reverse grip, and the, the one example he brought up was, if I'm right-handed, my sword's over here, 
somebody's holding my other arm, I'm backed up against something and someone's attacking me, sure, I can draw and maybe stop a cut real quick yeah. out of desperation. But, it's, but, but the next thing I'm gonna wanna try and do is like hit them with the sword, or grab their arm and get back and get it's, it's like get It's like, it's like, could you them. kill someone with a tea kettle? Absolutely you could, but if there was a machete lying there too, which would you pick? The tea kettle right. or the machete? For the great reverse grip experiment, week two or three, mm -hmm. it's gonna go for a year, I have a date, two. don't worry. To um, it's more sparring, trying to do the uh, one hand forward, one hand back, or using it as an offensive weapon. Today, it was a dud. Uh, I will keep trying, though. I will keep trying for a year, and we will see. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this or any of our other content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Your support allows us to keep creating shorts, fencing videos, and our major projects. When you support the team on Patreon, you get access to behind-the-scenes content, discounts on merch, opportunities to game the crew, and so much more. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up-to-date with all the fun stuff Cellsword Arts is doing. You can even ring the bell if you really feel like it. You can also join the community Discord and chat with the crew and other cool people with similar interests. And if you don't agree with something that I've said in one of these videos, you can always fill out the duel request form and challenge me to a duel so you can prove your point. You can find our Patreon and Discord link in the description. Additional links are in our bio. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.